Once you have a completed drawing that you're interested in plotting, this is where we're going to put the model tab and layout tab into use. So here is my you know, very basic drawing that I might want to plot out. I'm going to go to the layout tab to do that. So when I'm on the layout tab, we have two different things that we need to be concerned about. And that is going to be the difference between paper space and model space. Okay, so paper space, you'll see I have the word paper down here in the lower right. And if I hover over that for a moment, you'll see that you can toggle between model or paper space. Paper space, if I scroll in and out, scrolls in and out on that piece of paper. So everything I do in paper space is related to that piece of paper. If I change that to model space and then try to scroll in and out, that's zooming in and out of my model, and that's because of the viewport that's on my large piece of paper here. If I just click on that word model to flip it back to paper, it's just that easy, you'll see that I can click on the edge of this box. This is just the generic viewport that AutoCAD brings in, so inevitably when you open up the layout tab, you're going to see something like this. So I'm just going to delete that. Without that viewport there, what you're seeing is a blank piece of paper, that has a shadow behind it, and that's just a graphic that wouldn't print or anything. And then this dashed line is showing me the edges or the, the border that you know this particular printer can handle. So it's going to vary a little bit based on paper size and you know all that type of thing. So just relating to your piece of paper, how do I know what size this is and how do I change it? Well, on your layout tab, if you right click on the word layout or work if it might be named that, You'll see we have a lot of options here, and important here is the Page Setup Manager, right in the middle. So this is very much like using Word in the Document Setup or, or whatever. So Page Setup Manager, I'm going to click on that. And then once we get in here, we're going to be dealing with just this particular layout. All right, so um, if you have more layout options, there will be more words listed here. Below that, you'll see that, okay, I have a piece of paper here at 36 by 24 and it has this device, this e-plot listed. Perhaps I want to change those things. Yours might be 8.5 by 11 or who knows. All I have to do is go into Modify. When I get into Modify, you know, there are a lot of options that you can play around with. The first one up at the top is the printer or plotter. I'm just going to pick DWG to PDF. That's something that everyone should have available to them, so it'll be very universal. And then below that, you can change the paper size. This list will vary significantly based on what type of plotter or printer or um, other devices that you have available to you. The DWG to PDF gives you a lot of options. So here is where I have 36 by 24, or I could change it to uh, maybe 17 by 11, you know, that type of thing. For plot area, I want layout because that's where I'm working, not window or anything else. And, um, you know, beyond that, we have things like scale that we can change and, you know, all types of things. But right now, I'm just going to be concerned about the plotter and the paper size. Then I'll say OK. Once I do that, I can just say close. So you'll notice that my piece of paper looks a little bit different now. The proportions have changed and then this printer margin has changed. And that's just going to vary depending, once again, on the plotter and the, the paper size and all of that. Once you have just a blank piece of paper in your layout, what you want to do now is go to the Layout tab at the top of your screen and actually put in a new viewport. I deleted the one earlier just to reduce confusion. What we'll find here is the layout viewports, and this top one, this rectangular one, is the easiest to start with. When I pick that, I simply click and then let go and click again to create a viewport. A viewport, very simply, is a window into your model. Okay, so this is a way for you to look into your model space. If I make another one, and maybe do it over here, you'll see that I have it again. So each one of these is a view into the same model. 
if I go back to my model tab and perhaps just draw something off to the side so you can see it and I go back to my layout you'll see that that appears okay and you can see it in this viewport because it's larger this viewport is cropped in closer so I'm not able to see that yet and that's because I put it in before my new um, circles if I go to layout and rectangular again and make a new viewport it will make sure that they both fit so none of these three viewports are to any scale they're just fitting the contents of the model space so the extents of the drawing when you're in paper space, you can click on the edge of one of these viewports and change the proportions. I recommend in order to do that, generally turning off ortho and maybe uh, object snap as well. It's kind of helpful because otherwise you're really confined. But you'll see that if I bring these in closer, I can crop out areas of the drawing I don't want to see, or I can expand them. Okay, so these are just changing the proportions of my viewport and I just hit escape there to get out of it. So this will allow us to start laying out our scrapbook page for example. If I change from paper space to model space, if I click in any one of these viewports, I no longer get that dashed line with the blue squares in the corners. I get a bold line around each viewport. That tells me I'm in model space. When I'm in model space, if I scroll in and out or pan, it's within my model. If I do zoom all, it's within this particular model. What you have to be careful of is, you know, if I go from viewport to viewport, if I like, click on something in here and hit delete, it is gone. It actually deletes it out of my model. So you have to be very, very careful. I'll just undo that to get back to it. So each of these windows is looking it different closeness or you know something like that into the actual drawing you've created so you have to be very careful with it so with each one I can zoom in and out and if I start getting things laid out how I like I can then go back to paper space and then change the configuration of the viewports so you you really toggle back and forth if I want to move them I can just go to the home tab while I'm in paper space move it and I could for example move this one here use move, move this one here, and so on. I can make this one larger, and they can even overlap, that's fine. As you're working on your layout and getting it to something that you like, then what you'll start to do is change the scale. To change the scale in paper space, I just need to highlight one of these. If it's in model space, I just click in it, and that's where you're getting that scaled out the bottom again. So either view will do it. Then I go in and say, I would like this viewport to be perhaps a quarter inch equals a foot. Once I have it to scale, I can pan inside of there to actually maybe center it, make it look nice. So that one is a quarter inch equals a foot. This one, maybe I do at an eighth inch equals a foot. Okay, and it barely changed, but a little. And then I could go to paper space, change the proportions of that frame a little bit, and maybe move it, okay? And you can see how I could do that on and on. That one I just highlighted and deleted to get rid of it. So we have our, our uh, floor plan here at an eighth inch and a quarter inch. I can check that either in model space or paper space just by clicking in each one. See this larger one when I click in it? It says a quarter inch equals a foot. This one is an eighth inch equals a foot. Once you've gotten those set, um, make sure you're careful because if I change this to model space and scroll in and out real quick or by accident the scale is now gone and you'll have to reset it so you just have to be a little bit careful that's really the basics of you know putting in viewports and getting things set up to scale as you like them now if you want to do any type of labeling or things like that I would recommend that you do them here in paper space. So I'll toggle it back to paper space and maybe put in some text. I think that's a lot easier. Now if I'm going to use text here, I will likely just use standard text and I'll tell you why. When you're working on your piece of paper, if you say, I want my text to be an inch tall, it will be an inch tall and that's really easy to think about. If you say, I want it to be a quarter of an inch tall, 
it will be a quarter of an inch tall. So I might go to the annotate tab, make a new text style based on standard, you know, and I might pick some, you know, something a little more interesting. And I will change that, you know, just so we can see it, I'll make that a half inch tall. And I'll make the width factor one. Okay. I'll say apply, close. You know, I'm just doing something real quick here. So I will do my standard text, single line, click, enter. And here is my simple title, standard text, a half inch tall. I can go to my home tab, click move move this from one place to the other. I could simply copy this, put it down below here, and I can double click, go in and edit, and do all of the other things that we can do with text in any other view. The nice thing here is that I said be a half inch tall, so when I print this, it's a half inch tall. It's very easy to understand that on your piece of paper because it's very literal. So as you set these up, just remember that you can right click on your layout tab to go to the page setup manager. You can go in and see what your settings are or modify them to make changes to the plotter, the size and all those types of things. And then we can go to the layout tab to add viewports, which are once again, just windows into your model. If you're working and you want to create multiple layouts, which is very, very common, there's different ways to do this. But one way is just to right click on your layout and you could either say new layout and that will just give you something called layout one and it will come in, you know, very generic and that will work perfectly fine. Okay, and this will be eight and a half by 11, completely standard. When you do that, it will put one viewport on your piece of paper and it will have the extents of your drawing here so you can see everything. So that's one way to go about it. Or I can make a copy of this one and work from here. And to do that, I'll just right click on this one again, but instead of saying new layout, I'll simply do a mover copy. So I could just move the order around, but actually what I'm gonna do here is say, create a copy. When I do that, I say, okay, and now I have a copy right ahead of me. So I have layout and then layout with two in um, the brackets there. I can click and move that if I'd like, and I can rename it. Just by double clicking on the word. Once I get in there, I could come in and make some changes. So we can see the difference. And then we would have our layout one and our second layout. And that's really the basics of, you know, getting this set up and working for you.